Hi ladies, thanks for coming back to my channel. I just wanted to give you the adoption update that I had promised after our meetings this week, and there's a whole lot to talk about, so I'm just going to dive right in. Our first meeting was Thursday night, and that was actually the adoption agency that we're working with. They came out to talk to us and show us the profile for the little girl that um, they're having us consider and that we're being considered for. It was about 36 pages long. Now every profile is different based on the child's history, how much they know, how old the child is, how much they know about birth family, all of those things play into how long it is. So hers was about 36 or 37 pages. Um, Obviously, I can't go into any of the specific details about her history, but I will say it is, it's a very sad history, and I just want to cry thinking about it. Um, it's nothing that any child should ever have to see or go through, and um, it's awful, but... The strength behind everything and the positive is that she is doing so well considering her situation. Um, you know, there are a few school-related um, grade issues, but she tries really hard. She loves school. The teachers love her, um, which is great, and she wants to do well. And that's my dog, Cooper. You can kind of see him in the shot. Say hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah, you just want to say hello. Sorry, he just wants to say hi. <laughs> he loves attention. Anytime I'm sitting on the floor, he feels the need to pop on over and say hi. So that's what's going on. <laughs> um, anyway, so <clears throat> um, she is doing, she is having a little bit of a struggle in school, um, but she wants to do well, which is great. Um, and the teachers love her. She has a whole lot of friends which is great. Socially, she's doing very, very well. Um, you know, the biggest concern is that because she is older, she's very, very loyal to her biological family and has a lot of concerns about being adopted and what that means for her and, you know, not ever being able to see them again. That's her biggest fear. So there's a lot of things that they're trying to work through with therapy and counseling. And those are the things that they wanted to talk to us about on Thursday to make sure that we understood those are things that we'd be dealing with and things that we would have to continue with, um, therapy, etc. So we got a whole lot of information, like I said, um, on Thursday. And which was really great because we got to have a really good conversation about things Thursday night and about what we thought and what concerns we still had, which was fantastic and really great going into last night's meeting. Last night, we actually met with the county. Um, I don't know how it's done in other states, but in the state of Pennsylvania, the, you have your adoption agency, which has the caseworkers and stuff. But they're not actually the ones who have guardianship of the children. The guardianship is granted to the county. So um, you have to also speak with the county. And they're the ones who actually make the decision if you're a good fit for the child. And conversely, the child's a good fit for you. So last night was our interview with the county. And they talked to us at length um, about who we were, what we were looking for. They talked to us in length about the child, about her history, about things in the profile that maybe were negative and how we intended to handle those things. Um, they talked about so many things, which was fantastic for us. And then about an hour and a half of the meeting was rapid fire questions, um, you know, asking us about our relationship, our marriage, how we handle fights, who's the calm one how we would handle discipline, how we would handle, um, because this child is African American and obviously we are a Caucasian couple, how we would, um, integrate cultural differences, um, how we would care for her hair. All of those things were brought up and things that we had to discuss with them, which was great. Um, there are a lot of things that maybe we hadn't really considered that we got to talk through, which was great. Um, 
Also, they had us submit ahead of time a document with pictures describing our lives as children, how we met, our history, our marriage, um, our families, our community, where we lived, events in the community, doctors, hospitals, those kinds of things, um, statistics on the schools. So my document that I prepared was about 37 pages and sent ahead of time. So we went through that at length, um, which was really fun for me to create something like that. It's really nice to have this document kind of, this is who we are, which is really exciting. So we have that now. Um, and where we are is we are supposed to take the weekend to discuss everything we talked about. And on Monday, we're supposed to get back with the caseworker to let them know where we are, if we want to move forward, if <clears throat> we have more questions, those types of things. And then the county is going to meet on Tuesday and make a decision as to whether we are the right fit for this child. Um, and then from there, the process would be progress. And if we get to that point, then I can talk to you about what that process means. Um, so that's where we are. Jason, my husband and I have a lot to talk about this weekend. Um, a whole lot of new things to think about and, you know, conversations that we need to have some really tough conversations. So that will be happening this weekend. And, you know, I kind of want to include you guys in that process. So my husband and I plan to film a video together tomorrow, just kind of our thoughts on the situation and the questions and concerns we have and, you know, kind of what our thoughts are. Um, so we're going to share that with you tomorrow. Um, so that's where we are with everything for adoption for right now. And, um, yeah. So if you guys have questions, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comment box down below. Let me know. Do you know anyone who was adopted um, into a, a family of a different race? Were you yourself adopted into a family of a different race? Um, how did that work for you? What kind of things were concerns? Any advice that you have? I would love to hear it. We are 100% open. We need all the help and support that we can get because we want to make sure we do the right thing for this child and make the right decision for her and for us. So any information you guys have is always welcomed and appreciated. Um, update just quickly on the TTC aspect. We're still in the six weeks where we can't have intercourse, so there's nothing going on as far as trying. Um, and my doctor's appointment is next not this coming Tuesday, but the following with the OBGYN. So I'll be able to update you more on the TTC side of things at that point. So that's where we are. Thank you guys again so much for all of your love and support. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.